People can be so condescending and it drives me bonkers. I'm really sorry, you guys are gonna have to deal with the ring light light ring on my glasses. <laughs> Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm gonna do a follow-up to a video that I made probably around a year ago. It's called What Not To Say To Someone With PTSD. And I still get comments on that video every single day. Once I can get the right app open here. In the video itself, I ask people to give examples of things that have been said to them in their real lives. And some of it's just completely bonkers outrageous. I wonder if this is stale. <laughs> Doesn't sound, eh, sounds a little stale. Stale, <laughs> flat, flat is what I meant to say. <laughs> yeah, I'd call that pretty flat. Just like the earth, am I right? <laughs> Over 26,000 views, not monetized. Because why would YouTube monetize something with PTSD in the title? Am I right? Am I, am I right? Someone says, just get over it. Isn't that something that war veterans have? It happened over a year ago, get over it. Yes, that's very common. And super duper, do not say that to anybody with PTSD, please and thank you. <laughs> or anyone who's talking to you about something that's hurting them that they've experienced. So it happened previously. Be a supportive friend, not a dink. Is dink the name of the Jenna Marbles and Julian Salamita podcast uh, family? Fandom? That's the word I was looking for. Oh, this one's good. There's no way that's true. My mom has PTSD and... Can you stop digging through plastic bags? And she doesn't act like you. Holy crap, yes. People always try to compare and what's that saying? Is it comparison is the thief of joy or something? I don't know. We're always told not to compare ourselves to others and yet others always compare our trauma to that of somebody else. That somehow makes us inadequate and invalid. Not my fave. You just have anxiety. Oh, you have PTSD? Just like, don't be scared. OMG, but you don't even act like someone who has PTSD. Cause we're all the same. Every person on the planet is the same. Twinning, yas. This is gonna be triggering. You need to man up, quit being a pansy. Yeah, my dad beat me too. You just need to suck it up. And that one I wanna talk about because a lot of people don't understand that like, oh, we both went through the same thing. Why are you so messed up over it when I'm fine? It's because no two brains are alike. What? Oh my gosh, what a surprise. Sometimes one person will develop PTSD while the other one won't after going through the exact same thing. Your bodies are different. Your backgrounds are different. For people with complex PTSD from turbulent childhoods, it's, well, it's from repeated and prolonged trauma. So it's in your developmental years when your brain is developing. I don't know, if somebody had a rocky childhood, I feel that in the same situation as somebody who had like an ideal childhood. Well, no, anybody can develop PTSD. I don't know, I'll probably just cut all of that out. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. I didn't think that would trigger you. Why did that trigger you? It doesn't matter why or how, it did. I am the triggered fromage, okay? Get me a baguette. My therapist told me I need to move forward, which is fair advice, but it depends on how they presented the information, I guess. Just don't think about it. Yeah, holy crap, yeah. It's not you thinking about it, it's being triggered and then it comes to the forefront of your mind and your entire reality. It's not bad memories, it's negative associations, I guess. And it's not something that can be controlled, sadly. Trust me, we all wish that it could be. This is funny. Other humans. Oh, you have PTSD? What war did you fight in? Me. My house as a child. <laughs> I don't know, this is really off topic, but holy heck, your lipstick looks good. Thanks! I don't remember what lipstick I was wearing in that video. When somebody goes, you're overreacting, you just want attention. Thank you, that's not a thing. Please stop saying that to us. Oh, you have PTSD? Do you have nightmares? No, idiot, I dream about teddy bears and blue unicorns running around in happy cornfields. Oh, sorry. Happy in cornfields. That's funny. It's not too commonly known, I guess, that nightmares are like a daily or nightly occurrence for most of us. Oof, holy crap. You don't have PTSD from that muffin. Gosh, holy crap, people can be so condescending and it drives me bonkers. <sighs> you need to stop feeling sorry for yourself all the time and get over it. Stop living in the past. What if I could? What if I could? All you need is exercise. Yeah, it's true because endorphins will 
you know, reprogram your entire brain. And everybody knows that weight loss can solve any problem that a woman has because we're not taken seriously. Um, that's another story for another time. Cool, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you have anything that people say to you that just drives you nuts because holy cow, holy cow. It's tough out there, but uh, you know, just hang in there, stay strong, you can do it, you just have to put your mind into it. Sorry, I mean like I do believe in the power of positive thinking, but it's not going to cure PTSD. It's a legit medical condition. Sorry, not sorry. Don't forget to be kind to yourself and others today. Bye! I used to be overwhelmed by every little thing, torn apart, unraveled at the seams, I think it rooted in the way I